Alright guys, Platinum and um, actually not that bad of an anime, um, right off the bat, I would give this, knowing at first of how the trailer, like, um, that was obviously advertising this, it was really great and it was really promising with the whole God selection process of our main protagonist, Gakiesha, um, wanting to end his life, and then Angel was like, hey man, you could, uh, become more than that, all that good stuff, like, Right off the bat, I'll say I give it like I'll give Platinum Man a solid seven. I want to give it a six, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll give I'll give it a six because I think it's a really good anime, but I don't think it was quite satisfying as I as I expected it to be. So Platinum Man is all about um this god selection process with Kak kakashi and 12 other people are in 12 other people who try to take their own life and that um that these angels that prevented them to not only kakashi but other god candidates that the angels prevented um 12 other people to you know prevent them from taking their own life and in exchange for them becoming a god candidate and to for them to become or having a chance to become god because god is like dying so god made this whole god selection process for someone to take his place so yeah that's literally it so kaka she is more so like um a depressed guy who literally has a shitty life and that um he got sort of what he wanted but not at the same time because he never wanted to be um in the position that he wants to be but it was either a do or die situation and all this man ever wants is what everybody wants this world is for goddamn happiness and like hey man if you really want to die for that shit like go for it i applaud him for doing that shit but yeah a man just wants simple happiness and i condemn for him for just only wanting something so simple and something so achievable that he shouldn't need to cheat his way to order to get it he wants to do things natural and by the books and everything that his character is shown like that's what he wants to do with his life and to achieve things more natural and not to cheat his way to you know do things but um the anime is um really i think like at, at the first like couple of episodes like it's like after like the 15th or 16th episode it was honestly really good for me at least that i was enjoying mostly with um the god the other god candidates are also trying to find fight um not only kakashi and his um other god candidates as well i don't want to spoil too much because you know the ending is kind of a uh, you know like a mixed feelings for me but i'll get to that in a second so yeah so um it's just more so like to becoming god and everything but let, let me explain this whole logic so to become god you will there's only two different ways it's either the other god candidates would need to agree on one person or they will all need to die and one person would need to be you know god and everything else so yeah it's simple as that and becoming a god candidate has their own special abilities and everything you don't want to go too deep on that you just need to watch and find out but um yeah that's the whole basis of it and kakashi um only wants simple happiness while the other god candidates either don't want to be god or they only have their selfish reasons to only become a god candidate and to use their powers or just to become god for selfish reasons so yeah i was really thrilled and, and entertained with the whole um metro poly man fight what the metro poly man he was a really great um antagonist for the most part like most of the chunk of the anime or no most of the chunk of the show is surrounded by mostly kakashi and metro parliament just like going going at it towards each other that's all that's all it is just really and once after um, metro poly man died um you know it was more so picture like questioning myself like what's going to happen afterwards like how is the god selection gonna happen and um like what are the other god candidates are they gonna reveal them soon so knowing that this anime only has 24 episodes and the majority of the chunk was mostly with a uh, metro poly man it, it took mostly um, over half of the um 
over half of the anime so i felt like after like what was it like 17 18 around there like i felt like the pacing was a bit rushed afterwards in my opinion i felt like there was more time to in my opinion to flesh out more of the um other god candidates of um their personal um ideology and their beliefs and whatever and why they wanted to end their lives or all that all that stuff you know besides giving them like oh a simple reason and not really dwell into their character a bit but you know regard regardless is how the author wanted it so you know i can't really disagree on how he wanted to envision his work to project and you know on the big screen with everybody else can watch but yeah i was a little i was just a little bit disappointed i felt like i was a little bit overwhelmed because like i felt like it was rushed and i kind of wanted to see more but i also kind of want to see how it ended because i was a little bit impatient but i wanted to see what would happen you do get to see majority of all uh, yeah all of the god candidates i believe so and um yeah there's um i don't think there's nothing more to it besides that um is it i think it's it's really good for what it is but i felt like there was just so much potential to go in so many different directions so i thought in my mind like i knew who was going to be the god candidate but it, to my surprise it wasn't going to be who i thought it was going to be the god candidate and it was really disappointing and how the anime ended it um it ended it off like in a disappointing um the anime ended off in a in like in the most disappointing way as possible more disappointing the attack on titan ending that people are so pissed off about and all that stuff so yeah that's just like just, that's just like a me that's just like a like a me thing but like i did not personally enjoy how the anime ended i thought it was just fucking terrible to end the anime like that instead of ending it off of like how i thought it was going to end because like how it was portrayed at the end everybody was living like their life pretty well and everything and so all that is ruined i'm just like what the fuck and i and i get it like i get why the characters did i get i understand why the characters um made the choices that they did but it was just like kind of ridiculous because i kind of wanted to see a happy ending because i thought it was going to be a happy ending happy and ending in my opinion or i thought it was like i thought like the anime like to me like the anime sought out to like have like sort of like a happy ending with the other god candidates and everything and not really to turn out how it did so i was like a little bit disappointed i felt like i was really misled when the final conclusion of the anime you know the final episode aired i'm like huh i felt i felt i didn't i kind of i kind of felt a little bit pissed off because i was just like what the f- like what is this like what is this like i did not like i felt i felt my time wasted on putting like i i it is a good anime but it's just like the ending really pissed me off because now i'm just like dude like to me it was good watching it up to the point of how it ended and i just felt really i just felt really disappointed i felt like my time was a waste and i felt you know i i should have in my opinion i should i'd rather read the manga version and not watch it because in my in my in my in my if i have read the anime read the manga i probably wouldn't have watched the anime because i would know how it ended i'd rather not see what i already know even if it's disappointing as it was on on there and i just like that nah, i wouldn't bother myself watching it because if it's disappointing or red so why not so why even bother dis disappoint yourself more into like watching it you know like oh yeah this is gonna happen and all that stuff so yeah i was pretty a little bit disappointed because i felt like it, it was just like um misled misleading me in my opinion but hey it's um literally whatever i don't know if i i don't know if it's technically not my fault that or if i'm just reading it wrong that wasn't supposed to be misled and it was supposed to be well to be dwelled in the characters of how they they were supposed to act but you know i digress i didn't like the ending 
I felt like it should have been a happy ending, ending in my opinion, but it has a solid killer um, opening, really enjoy that, um, it really didn't utilize mostly with Kana, uh, Kakashi, um, not Kakashi, Kanaki, not Kanaki, fuck, um, but Kakashi, fucking Kakashi, what the fuck, I can't even fucking speak, but yeah, it didn't really, it didn't really utilize with his environment, with like, with school and everything, really didn't put in much more risk factor with, besides his life, but, you know, we wanted to see, I really wanted to see what, like, a little bit more of his life, like, his outside life, besides, like, hey, I want to, like, be happy and everything, but he doesn't really show it, you, it's just more so, it got really annoying with him talking about, oh, yeah, I want to be happy, I, I want to find natural happiness, like, I understand that, so why do you have to, like, say it, 30,000 times, like, I understand it, and I don't give a shit if the characters don't, like, don't understand you, like, it, like, we get it, bro, we get it, if they don't get it, that's fine, like, again, I don't, I don't want to hear the same shit, like, 20,000 times for no fucking reason, dude, like, that, it's just, like, bro, chill out, we get it, we want you to, we all want you to be happy, man, everybody wants, everybody wants Kakashi to be happy, really 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 that's all but um yeah um there's nothing i guess promising to expect from this anime it's gonna be something that you won't expect i mean for me i really did not expect the anime to turn out how i thought it was gonna be but it's still nonetheless a good watch i think it was really good with not with kind of with like with characters and everything being introduced i do love that um it, it, i do love like the abilities of what you know with the god candidates has it was really good um watching watching the god candidates just like fight each other and to utilize their abilities to the fullest extent and it was just really entertaining in my case of with the metro polymed fight and everything it, it was just really entertaining all around and you can like there's actually are some gawkiness you could favor of how like they are towards each other. My favorite is possibly um, Mukairu, and I love his character. And I was so I cried when I saw that man. Like oh my god, Mukairu is really such a big homie, and I really love his character the most. He is honestly like my favorite character out of the entire show like i don't even like that mc that much like i, I like I, I get his intentions and they're kind of stupid but hey man it's how the author wanted to write it like that but hey i'm not here to judge i'm not here to judge like how the character's supposed to be because i'm not a fucking author but hey i had a great time and you know, watching it up to that point but yeah let me know what you guys think about platinum and sorry that it took like over 10 minutes jesus but let me know what you guys think about Plot the if you guys really enjoyed it or not, all that good stuff. Anyways, have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, later, peace, and...